So you guys are in Trenton for a couple years, and uh, at what point do you guys decide to move again from there? Um, Trenton was falling apart for me, and I'm always looking for opportunity, and it's something about me and my intuition, and that's been with me since I was a little kid. Like, when I get an intuition about something, I kind of like react on it. And I had an intuition about Trenton, like, you know, I didn't see me, I, I saw me either dying or going to jail. So I, I'm looking for other opportunity. So I end up um, taking a weekend trip in Maryland and, you know, scanning out a whole new territory for myself. And somebody gave me an open door, so I moved from Trenton to Maryland and stayed in Maryland for about a year before I came back and got Jade in. Came back and got Jay and Trenton. So that was my next, that was my next move to Maryland. So Jay-Z stayed in Trenton and you moved to, and you moved to Maryland? Yeah. Okay, how much, were you guys making a lot of money at this time? Like when did the real money start to come in? Um, we was making good, we was making pretty good money in Trenton. You know what I'm saying? Trenton was, was, was good, but that move from me, moving to Maryland was, was a, a big jump, like a huge jump to, we have no longer business to even stay in Trenton no more. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? You know, the work that I used to leave, if, if, if I split the work up and leave half with Jay and go to Maryland with the other half, like I would literally be back in Trenton the next day, finish what I had. So it was no purpose for me to be in Trenton anymore. And the money from there, once we hit Maryland, like we talking about, you know, millions. Millions yeah. of fucking dollars, yo. Um, millions of dollars we made, millions of dollars that I made for people. Um, it just turned all the way up to another level. Um, and, and that's what woke up uh, the government, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> that kind of paper we was getting. But that, that's what comes along with the game. I seen somewhere that during all this, you got shot. Um, no, nah, it wasn't during, yeah, during the process of hustling, yeah, yeah, I did. This was Trenton days. I was, we was actually staying in Trenton when I got shot, though. Um, Another story on Reasonable Doubt, where he talk about it on uh, Reasonable Doubt, too. Um, just where I just saved his life, man. Like, it, it wasn't no brainer. It wasn't no choice that I had. Um, it was one of them, them fortunate, unfortunate situations where dirty business, my connections set me up to, to rob me. And, and um, can, can you take me through it? Um, it's funny because the week before that happened, um, I just finished taking a huge loss. You know what I'm saying? The week before this happened, I took a huge loss um, uh, getting knocked off on, uh, with a bunch of drugs and shit. So I'm already out on bail. So here we are a week later, I tell my connect, listen, this is what happened. I'm gonna spend a couple of more dollars this time, you know, I'm gonna need a list to get back on my feet. You know, so I usually don't have Jay with me when I go cop. It's just for some reason he was, we was in New York together and, and like, all right, come on. And he had on a, all the jewelry too. He had on a lot of jewelry too. And it's just shit that you don't normally do and when you do it, you're gonna pay the price for that. And I wouldn't have normally had him go with me under those circumstances with that on. But I'm like, yo, my connect is good, whatever. And I get there, we do business, and once I walk out the door, once we walk out the door from the connect, and that shit slam, like, from the moment it slammed, I felt something. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that, that was unusual. But when we got outside, it was like two, it was two guys waiting on us already. I already had peeped it through the door. And I'm like, Jay, just get ready for this shit, man. When I stepped out, they already had, the, he already had the gun drawn. And he like, yo, what, you know what it is? And I see how, you know, Jay got on this jury and I'm like, 
is two things going through my mind. No, actually three things. One, I can't let nothing happen to Jay. His mother never forgive me. Two, I can't let nothing happen to Jay because my mother never going to forgive me. And three, they ain't getting these drugs that I just copped. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? That, that's the three things that are going through my mind. Because, you know, like I said, you know, Jay was always under my care. And that was one of the things his mother expressed to me. Make sure my son is all right at all the time. And I told her he, he always going to be good. And then another thing, my mom was just, would have been just like, nah, I, she would have never forgave me for letting something happen. So I pushed Jay out the way. When I pushed Jay out the way, they, they grabbed me and they dude stuck the gun. A lot of people think he ain't just shoot me from a distance. He put the gun in my back and shot me, which gave me the opportunities because he's that close to turn around. And now we tussling for the gun and shit. Jay ran and me and dude tussling. I'm fighting with a bullet in me and all. Me and, me and dude, we fighting for real for this gun. But I'm losing wind fast and shit. And then I hear him calling, he calling his boy like, yo, come back and help. So I just took a chance on letting it go and just running shit. And, and I let it go and ran and shit. I got up about two blocks next, got caught up with Jay and shit. And um, Jay was like, yo, you good? And I'm like, yeah. And I'm like, but, I, but my back hurt and shit. And I reached in the back and I put my hand right in, I put my finger right in the hole. I was like, yo, he shot me. And then when I realized that, I, I kind of was collapsing. And I'm like, yo, call, you know, let's jump in the cab and, and go to the hospital. I jump in the cab, go to the hospital and shit. And we get ready to go to the hospital. I'm like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. And I zip my pants down, I pull up. I said, like uh, Tony Montana said, yo, get the yayo. I said, yo, here, don't forget the yayo. You can't go in the hospital with me, bro. He, I gave him everything, told him to jump in the cab, go home and shit, man. And I went in the hospital and shit. When I got to the hospital, the bullet was hanging out my chest and shit. You know what I'm saying? The doctor was like, yo, bro, you lucky, you know, you lucky. You know, and um, Jay put that shit on record, bro. I guess, you know, he, he <laughs> it meant something. It's part of our history. How long were you in the hospital? Um, I think I stayed in the hospital, man, um, about two weeks. You know what I mean? Two or three weeks because when I, my lungs kept uh, collapsing. The bullet went through my liver, my bladder, my spleen. So yeah, I think I stayed about three weeks. Man, well, you, you, get, out of, uh, you get out of the hospital. Right. And, and what do you do with yourself at this point? Are you like thinking like, man, I, I need to slow down or do you just get right back to hustling? No, while I'm, while, I, while I'm recuperating, Jay is getting that money up. Like, then, you know, he taking it to another level because I'll never forget when I, when I got back ready, right and healthy again and shit, and looked at the numbers, Jay was, it was surprising, you know what I'm saying? I was happy and proud about my little brother can handle shit, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, things was the same, bro. It was all the way up then. How long, how long did it take you to fully recover? I don't know, you know, a month. You know, they don't give us long in the hospital with gunshots. They swift with that shit up here. You know what I mean? It ain't take long, month, two months. I was back up again, running. 